do, do not look behind you at Marinette. Somehow, amidst the clamor of 20 students all shoving school supplies into bags and filing out, he distinctly recognized the sounds of Marinette packing up her things and Marinette getting up from her seat, and if Adrian hadn't already started walking, he wouldn't have been able to resist the impulse to stay where he was. Adrian forced himself to keep walking, exiting the classroom and heading for the gym, even as his imagination played out possible scenarios for what might have happened if he had let Marinette come to him. He gathered her up in his arms and held her close, nuzzling the side of her face with his cheek and breathing in her sweet scent. She wrapped her arms around him and hugged him back, and she sighed happily as they soaked up each other's warmth. She raised her head from where she had been resting it against his chest and gazed up at him. Craning her neck, instinctively, he leaned down until his lips met hers halfway in warm, lingering kiss. Adrian clenched his jaw against another shiver that ran down his spine. Where is my heat-addled brain coming up with daydreams like this? He thought, shaking his head. In dismay. There are exactly zero reasons that Marinette would come up to me and just hug me. Out of nowhere. Although I feel like a hug would feel really nice right now, but, anyway. Kissing. Marinette is also out of the question. I am in love with Ladybug, I am loyal to Ladybug, and Marinette is just a really good friend. Even if she is super sweet, and, really, pretty, oh my god, pull yourself together, Adrian. But it wasn't until he reached the boys' locker room that Adrian's environment became stimulating. Enough to distract him from his thoughts. Changing into his fencing uniform did nothing to affect the itching sensation, it felt like the irritation was under his skin instead of on the surface. It continued to nag at him until he started to work up a sweat, finally dulling slightly so that it was barely noticeable as he concentrated on sparring. It was incredibly relieving to know that physical exertion granted him a temporary respite from this, too, in addition to his intrusive thoughts. I wonder if this means that this thing for Marinette really does have something to do with my mating cycle, he mused as he rode home for lunch an hour and a half later. Then again, concentrating on my performance in a sport properly would theoretically help take my mind of anything. Otherwise, I just wouldn't do very well. I guess Plague is still my only reliable source of information. Tilda. Adrian brought his lunch upstairs to his room so that he could talk to his Kwame as soon as possible, and he made sure Plague was given his own lunch of camembert. Plague, I'm pretty sure the itch just dropped on me while I was in class this morning, Adrian. Began as Plague swallowed his cheese. Is there anything I need to know about it that you haven't already told me? Not really, Plague said unconcernedly. Your body's literally craving Ladybug's touch, and you instinctively want her to pet you like the cat you half are. It'll gradually get worse the longer you go without pets from Ladybug, which will help you feel better, but of course, the more time you spend with Ladybug, the faster your symptoms progress, so you kind of just have to choose whether. In heat.pdf. Fine. Add to drive. More options. You'd rather grin and bear it to minimize the intensity of your future symptoms or beg for relief and hope you two don't lose your minds later. Right, Adrian took a bite of his sandwich and chewed thoughtfully. I noticed that I seemed to feel better while I was in fencing class, though, he said, swallowing. It's back now, he added, rolling his shoulders with a wince, but does the physical activity help, like it does with the thoughts? Not really, Clagg said, settling down on Adrian's desktop. Not in the same way Ladybigs. Dutch would, anyway. It's just while your body is in battle mode, your symptoms get overridden. By the adrenaline so that they don't distract you and make you vulnerable, remember. Oh, right, yeah, that makes sense, another bite. So, dot the next time I have a mission with Ladybug, she'll be suffering from whatever her version of this is, right? What's it like? Yup. Supposedly, it's like body aches, but more subtle. It makes her crave your touch, just like you crave hers, but just like being pet like a cat will have the greatest effect on you, there'll be a 
special touch or two that'll work best on Ladybug. You can ask her to tell you about it if you want, since her Kwame will probably have told her about it. Body aches, like from a fever. That sounds awful. No better or worse than your itching, Flag said neutrally, shrugging. Another bite. Adrian frowned sadly at the thought of Ladybug in discomfort, and again, he wondered if he found Ladybug suffering from being apart from him, and his touch was the only thing that could make her feel better, what could he possibly do but do everything in his power to comfort her? The way he saw it, his reason for existing was to fight by her side and love her unconditionally with every fiber of his being, and so not tending to his lady's needs went against every one of his basic instincts. But if giving in would end up making things worse for both of them in the long run. If Hawk Moth keeps up his current activity rate, and I end up meeting Ladybug about every three days, exactly how much worse will our symptoms get over time if we, uh, Adrian rubbed the back of his neck sheepishly. If we were to, dot you know, hang around. He started scratching at his scalp almost absentmindedly against the still lingering itch as he stared at Flag nervously. You mean if you two were to keep making out after every mission, like you've been doing this? Full time. Flag asked dully. Adrian hunched his shoulders defensively as he blushed, and he suddenly lost the ability to look. Flag in the eye, more than enough of an answer for Flag. Well, not the thing is, it's hard for me to say. Spending, say, an hour with Ladybug every three days. Wouldn't be bad at all, we would expect the itch to start coming on sometime during the third week, and, with a decent amount of self-control, you'd be able to behave normally out in public up until about, right after the fourth and final week begins. Now, what problem do you notice with this scenario? Adrian stared blankly at Flag for a moment, pondering the details and coming up with nothing. Then, it finally hit him, and his eyes widened. That scenario is exactly what's been happening this whole time, he said. Dot but I'm less than two weeks in, and I already have the itch. Flag, I'm, my heat is progressing about twice as fast. In heat.pdf. Fine. Had to drive. More options. As you said it would. Flag nodded grimly. But, Flag, what does this mean? Adrian asked anxiously, his half-eaten sandwich lying. Forgotten on his desk. It suggests that you two are spending a lot more time together than three or four hours a week, but... I know you haven't transformed into Chat Noir more often than that, and we can assume. Ladybig's not sneaking into your room to watch you sleep or something, since she she doesn't. Know where you live. Well, she knows where Adrian Agrest lives, but she doesn't have any reason to stalk Adrian. Right. Hey ha ha. Adrian chuckled nervously, and Flag frowned at him in disgust. Oh, but wouldn't you love it if she did? Flag grumped. Anyway, he continued, if it's not you too, then maybe it has something to do with your super high compatibility. Maybe you too are just super sensitive to each other. That's gotta be it, Adrian said instantly, staring into space with a gooey smile on his face. There's so much natural chemistry between us, we can barely take the heat. He snickered at his own pun. Hang on, lover boy, we're not done talking. Flag rose up into the air to level himself with Adrian's line of sight. I find it puzzling that you noticed the itch come on while you were at school. You're sure you weren't feeling it at all this morning before you left? No, I was fine until, Adrian paused, brow furrowed, thinking back. It hit me after biology. While the teacher was assigning us into project groups, I had just turned to look at Marinette, and then I felt the first itch sort of crawl down my back. The rest of it just started piling up right after that. He looked up at Flag again. Why, are you thinking something triggered it? I don't. Remember you telling me it worked like that? Quote. Flag shook his head. It doesn't, really, he said, bringing a paw to his chin thoughtfully. But depending on the timing, it can either hit you all at once usually while you're with Ladybug but most of the time, it 
builds up slowly and gradually the longer you're away from Ladybug, God but it hit you just as you were looking at Marinette, which I find very interesting, he looked up at Adrian with a sly smile now on his face. And you're still pining after her, right? Adrian groaned in frustration. I am not pining. He protested, scratching at his scalp with both hands in vain. If I'm pining after anyone, it's Ladybug. Marinette I see almost every day. He stopped scratching and scowled. At flag. And anyway, I thought you said I couldn't blame my heat for what I feel when I'm around Marinette. The you, his shoulders slumped hopelessly and he stared at flag. Imploringly. Do you know what's going on with me, or not? Flag blinked, then heaved a sigh before bringing himself closer to Adrian's face. I'm not going to lie, your mating cycle has been probably the fastest advancing I've ever seen. Are you serious? Adrian asked softly, his mouth hanging slightly open. Yup, but you know, I've got this feeling that this isn't a bad thing. I didn't tell you not to blame. Your heat for your girl troubles because I knew there wasn't any connection, there's no way I can. Know that for sure, because this has never happened before. I think you're forgetting. Something. Flag floated backwards and crossed his arms. The mating cycle doesn't change. How you really feel. Quote. Adrian just stared back for a moment, stunned speechless. You're saying, my heat could be affecting how I feel physically when I'm around her, but, it has. Nothing to do with how I feel about her. That maybe it is making me into a hormonal disaster. Around her, but that my feelings for her are all my own. Flag nodded sagely. There's something else I thought of. If falling in love with Marinette would hurt your chances of mating with Ladybug, then why would your heat flare up when you're with Marinette at all? Who knows, maybe this is an auspicious sign. You, God you think so? Adrian asked, hesitant but hopeful. You think I should just trust my instincts? All my instincts. Sure beats fighting with yourself, doesn't it? Flag remarked with a shrug, smirking. Adrian smiled gratefully. Thanks, Flag. I hope you're right. Of course I am, Flag scoffed. I am clever and wise and awe-inspiring. Adrian chuckled as he checked the time on his phone. Whoops. I gotta head back to class. Flag watched Adrian scramble to clean up the remains of his sandwich and gather the textbooks. He would need for the rest of the day's classes. He also took off his sweater to change his shirt. Since he hadn't left himself enough time to shower after fencing. I don't know whether to be relieved or not that he still hasn't figured it out, Flag thought. He wouldn't have to worry about loving two girls at once anymore, but maybe he needs more time to figure out what loving them really means. Chapter End Notes I know many readers myself included are naturally wary and suspicious of original characters because they too many of them end up stealing the spotlight form the canon characters, but don't worry, all the new classmates named in this chapter exist pretty much only to put bodies in seats in the classroom because it didn't seem realistic for Marinette and Adrian's high school classes to have the exact same people as their middle school classes did. The characters Claire, Elise, Felicienne, Fleur, and Lysandre who will be in Marinette's, Adrian's and Alia's groups will be introduced in the next chapter, but rest assured, they're only here in this story to contribute to some fun future interactions, and will hold next to no influence on the plot. I just can heat.pdf. Fine. Had to drive. More options. But you know, I've got this feeling that this isn't a bad thing. I didn't tell you not to blame. Your heat for your girl troubles because I knew there wasn't any connection, there's no way I can. Know that for sure, because this has never happened before. I think you're forgetting. Something. Thought it would be fun to have some new girls for Marinette, Adrian, and Aaliyah to talk to about love, dating, and Ladybug and Chat Noir and how good a catch Chat Noir obviously is. In heat.pdf. Fine. Had to drive. More options. 